Hey, it's Hex here with HexInverter.net Electronics, giving you another video in the series of Galilean Moon's demo videos. So if you've already watched the other demo videos, you're probably wondering what the XOR noise output, which is enabled only when you have a Jupiter Storm cosmic noise oscillator module connected to Galilean Moon's through the back of the panel. Well, just to let you hear what this sounds like, here is the raw XOR noise output. You'll probably notice I have this side of Galilean Moons in looping LFO mode, and I'm using that LFO to control the pitch of Jupiter Storm. Now, Obviously, uh, that sounds similar to uh, an LFSR noise generator. Um, the difference is that uh, in the higher frequencies, it sounds quite a bit different. So let me show you that as I play with the pitch knobs here on Jupiter Storm. I can't say I've ever really heard an LFSR noise generator that sounds exactly like that. So it's definitely got a very unique character to it. Okay, so that's fine. That's what the noise output sounds like on its own. And keep in mind, you have this in addition to all of the other Jupiter Storm noise outputs. So all of the outputs already there, of course, still work. Um, so I fed this noise output through this voltage controlled low pass filter. Um, I've currently got quite a bit of resonance and I'm using the LFO mode of the second side of Jupiter Storm, or sorry, Galilean Moons to modulate the cutoff frequency of that VCF. Uh, if you'll notice the switch is actually reversed, that's just a problem with the prototype. Uh, of course on production units it won't be like that. So really the switch should be switched up here to be in LFO mode. In any case, this is what it sounds like put through a voltage controlled resonant filter. So you can hear there are some pretty cool sort of sounds layered throughout there. Things get really interesting when you blend in some of the raw noise output with a filtered signal. Okay, and the last thing I want to demonstrate is the um, the addition, the effect of the addition of this noise output in your system. Uh, normally, when you have Jupiter Storm, to get uh, if you're familiar with it at all, um, you probably will recognize these tones. So these are the types of tones that Jupiter Storm creates when the noise core disruptor is off. Um, they're essentially a bunch of square waves being ring modded together. Uh, they sound like alien sort of like uh, ringy tones. So to get more gritty tones, you have to turn the noise core disruptor on which you can hear here. Unfortunately now, the noise outputs no longer can sound like the uh, ring modi alien sounds. When you add a Galilean moons to a Jupiter storm, this actually changes that, and you can now have both types of sounds at once. Uh, the XOR noise output obviously isn't identical to when the noise core disruptor's on. There are definitely similarities. However, it has that sort of crunchy, uh, nasty sound to it. So you can have that in addition to the ring mod sound. So as you can hear, 
with the noise core disruptor off. We have the alien sounds. And we also have the sounds straight out of the XOR noise output. And these are all obviously controlled by Jupiter Storm because they're coming from it. You can get really interesting sounds by mixing them together. Because they essentially are following the same pitch CV inputs, or are at least relative to it, you can get very complex sounds. Keep in mind, what you're hearing right now is not filtered in any way. It's direct out of the sound outputs of these modules. So I hope that gives you a good idea of the types of things you can do with a Jupiter Storm and Galilean moons together in your system with the new XOR noise output. Um, obviously I've just touched the tip of the iceberg here with what you can do with these modules. Uh, I hope that if you make your own demo video or audio clips you'll share them with me so I can show other people and I hope to be making some more videos of my own. Uh, Galilean Moons will be available as a module from retailers around the world in December 2013 as well as a do-it-yourself project from Hexinverter.